Well, guys, I think we're about to go for a 400 yard shot on this giant whitetail buck with the 6.5. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back out here with the 6.5 for some whitetail. I know we just did this the other day, but this time I want to see how far the 6.5 can actually do and get 100% on the quick kill on the whitetail. So we have out here a pretty decent sized whitetail buck. Looks to be like a 10 point. He's about 100 yards pretty much exactly. So if he does slow down, we'll go for a double long heart shot. Now what I want to do eventually is try and test out the range a little bit further. Say right now we're at 100. Next I want to go to like 250 maybe 300 and maybe even 400 yards if at all possible but we'll start off like i said at 100 yards here if this buck stops and that was a perfect double lung heart shot yep double lung heart at 78 yards so he's a little bit closer than i thought he's gonna score 869 perfect shot that's a great great whitetail buck to start off the hunt with a 6.5 and now let's see if we can't get one just a little bit further so we just got eyes on another pretty decent buck. This one's a little bit further. He's about 160 out this time. And that felt really good. In fact, it should have been double lung. Might have just barely missed the heart, but definitely should be smoked. And it looks like we're gonna get a double lung shoulder blade at 158 yards. He's gonna score 818, trophy rating of 193. Another pretty solid whitetail buck. A nice gold with the 6.5. Now I wanna find out if we can actually get 100% at over 200 yards. Then of course we'll try for 300 after that, but you know, we'll work our way up there. Well, forget the 200 yard mark. <laughs> But you know what they say, go big or go home. So we're about to go for a 330 yard shot on this really nice whitetail buck with the 6.5. We got a perfect position here to bed down and let's do one for 300 and hold for hopefully the top of the heart. Here we go. Perfect shot, must have just barely missed the top of the heart. Still definitely got double lung at 330 yards and he just piled up right there. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to be able to aim on something when you can actually zero in for that exact distance. Now, when we're trying for over 400, it's kind of complicated because you can't just hold the cross right on it. You literally have to hold it about six inches above where you think it's gonna drop. And sometimes it might even be up to 10 inches, depending on just how far out the animal actually is. But as you can see, a nice vital hit here and our buck ran maybe 30, 40 yards right up this hill and piled up right here. I want to find out just how far that shot placement was on this really nice whitetail buck. And it should have been guaranteed double lung. Double lung, and like I thought, just missed the top of the heart. Perfect shot placement, 330 yards out. Wow. So there you go. A broadside shot on a big whitetail, and you can easily get double lung at over 300 yards with a 6.5. Well, I figured, since we just broke the 300 yard mark, why not try for 400 plus yards? We have out here a huge whitetail buck at over 400 yards. And we're gonna go for a shot with a 6.5. Now, of course we have to be prone. So I wanna pat down this grass and hope that we don't hit the water. Sometimes if you're too close to the water, you actually do ricochet off the water. But I think we should be good right here. So we're gonna hold for the spine. And that had to be heart. I think we just made a 400 yard perfect double lung heart shot on that giant whitetail buck. 400 yards. I mean, I can't even see that thing without the scope. Look how far that is. 413 yards with the 6.5. That's incredible. Luckily for you, I actually have a tent right here so I can just fast travel over there and go try and find our buck. Well, here he is down right here. He looks like a pretty good buck. He's gonna be close to a 900s whitetail, a really awesome looking rack. And let's find out how far he actually was. 414 yard double lung heart shot with a 6.5, absolute centered perfectly. Just smoked that whitetail. Oh. 400 yards. Oh, 
I really don't know if you could get much further than that and actually be able to get double lung and heart on a white tail buck. But he's going to score 879, and that buck actually has a really cool rack. His uh, right side there kind of sticks out to the side, and that looks pretty awesome. Just like that right there. So I was holding for the spine, and you can see we dropped, I would say, 10 inches or so straight down from the spine and just smoked this giant white tail buck. So lately I've been hearing a lot of talk about how the Mosin is just as good, if not better, than the 6.5. Now, I want to know... How is the Mosin Nagant going to do on a whitetail buck like this at 400 yards? Someone should try it and let me know once and, and just see how that goes. So I found a track from a pretty heavy blacktail. In fact, it's so heavy that it could be a dime potential blacktail. Now we just snuck up on the whole herd of bedded blacktail here and one of them should be him. Well, that should be him right there, but it's definitely not going to be a diamond. So it's a little bit of a letdown, but it's still a huge black tail. So we're going to try and take him down with the hawk edge bow. We're going to try for a hard shot, and if we miss, we should at least get a single lung. I'm not really too worried. Way too high, but like I said, I think we still got a single lung. Yes, we did, and he's down. Should be 100%. Let's go over and pick him up. With the weight on this track, this blacktail should be close to a 950s. I mean, I thought he was going to be a diamond, but obviously he's not a 5 medium, so he's not going to be a diamond. 194 pounds is pretty much like borderline diamond. But he's going to score 942. We actually got a left lung shot. We hit a little bit high. Actually, we weren't really that high. We were just kind of to the right. 31 yards out with a trophy rating of 179. He's got a cool rack on him though. You can see the one side looks like he should be a diamond. The other side is just not quite big enough. So either way, I think we're going to save him. So we found another pretty decent white tail buck out here. About 160 out. This time I want to try for a straight front on shot. I want to see if we can get enough penetration to get the heart from this angle at about 160 out. I want to back up a little bit so we don't accidentally hit the rock and here we go wait till he picks his head up it felt pretty good might have been just a hair too high still should have got a single lung but yeah we uh definitely did not get the heart yep left lung at 164 still got a goal at 822 a really solid white tail 77 percent on the quick kill with a single lung and we were just about a half an inch too high. But you can see you still have plenty of penetration to be able to get heart from that angle. You just got to be able to hit it in the right spot. Now that is going to be a good bull moose. That thing should be a 900 plus and we're about 150 out from right now. I want to try and sneak up within about 100 and go for a perfect heart shot with a 6.5 to see if it is possible. It's going to be really difficult, but I'm really hoping we can make it happen. Well, we just snuck up to about 80 yards out, and there he is right there. Stopped at 71. I think this is going to be our chance. Let's zero in for one. Actually, we'll zero in for 80. And hold right. Well, I don't really know what just happened, but I'm pretty sure the first shot was a little bit too high. He did go down, um, but... I don't know what happened. I don't know if we hit him the second time or actually, you know what? We might have made a perfect heart shot the first time, but he just didn't drop. Yeah, we got it. Heart and right lung at 68 yards with the 6.5. And we got a monster 910 scoring Trek Bull Moose. That rack looks pretty awesome. That's one of the coolest moose racks that I've seen in a while. But yeah, I figured we were a little bit high. We caught just the top left side of the heart there. But luckily, I mean, we hit the heart. So we dropped him and hold right. Well, I don't really know what just happened. So I figured we'd go back to our trophy lodge here and take a look at a couple of different mounts we decided to get mounted. We actually got our 910 scoring bull moose mounted right there next to our, I think 964, 
yeah there's our 964 diamond bull moose there now in my other trophy lodge i had a couple diamond bull moose just like this this one scored 910 but that is a diamond rank so it could be a diamond as well and i'll keep him there i think he looks really good and right here we have our 942 scoring Truac Blacktail, which wasn't quite big enough to be a diamond, but man, he was pretty close. If he would have been a five, he probably might have been a diamond, but he still has a really cool uh, rack on the top side there, actually. I wonder if I can get him to turn a little more so you can see. Remember the one side, he kind of looks like he has a small four. The other side looks like he has a five, but yeah, we'll keep him just like that for now. And this, is our 879 scoring whitetail buck that we got at 414 yards with a 6.5 bolt action sniper rifle. And we absolutely had to get that mounted. A perfect double lung hard shot with a 6.5. And if that doesn't tell you how good the 6.5 actually is at long distances, I don't know what's gonna tell you. And we're actually gonna be putting both of these bucks right behind our giant 995 diamond Turak blacktail right here. And over here is where we have all three of our Turak giant diamond whitetails. Of course, we have our diamond that we got from yesterday. Man, that thing is such a small looking diamond. I mean, he is a diamond, so I'm happy, but I guess, you know what? Now that I look at it, he looks just like our other diamond. This diamond here, I believe is, uh, hold on, 952. So this one's actually smaller than that one there. But yeah, I think they're gonna look good there and that's gonna be a good way to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.